Hi everyone, it's Claudette Vibrant Soap, and I can't believe that I've now been making soap for about five years, and it wasn't long after I started making soap that I decided that it might be kind of a cool idea to try to make some videos and share them on YouTube, and just like the soap making, once I started that, um, there was no stopping me. I just kind of feel like that's part of my weekly journey to make soap and make the videos and get them out there. And if you look back in time, uh, you'll notice that some of the videos were devoted to the making of this soap room because I used to soap in the kitchen. Uh, I showed you times where I dropped stuff in my soap batter and made a horrible mess and spilled soap. And Anyway, it's all there for you to see. And uh, it kind of has something to do with the choice of today's soap, which is uh, the use of the fragrance called Kismet or Fate. Who would have known that my fate would have included making soap and making videos? I never would have guessed that. So anyway, let's get on with the soap making video. And if you want to see the color tutorial, just hit that little I button up there and you can see that's basically a rainbow soap put together in sort of different way. But without further ado, let's get started with the soap making. Okay, everything's at about 74 degrees. I've got all my oils in there. Okay, I'm clay. And I'm gonna give that a good blend before I add the lye. And I hope this works out today again. Trying something new. This one's kind of intricate, so I've got to really think about what I'm doing. I am going to have a red mixture that I need more of, so I marked it so I can try to remember that. And that's because I'm using dividers again, and this middle divider has more space, so I need more soap for that, so it ends up being even on top. And goes my lye, and that's at 74 degrees too. And this recipe has avocado oil and no palm oil. And goes kismet. Good. It smells like, um, I know it's not supposed to, but it smells like vanilla and uh, caramel. Okay, so I'm going to mix my white first. White is just going to add a little lightness to this because it, because this is like a rainbow soap. So there's my titanium dioxide mixed with olive oil. And I'll blend that later. Once again, I'm gonna need more red than the other colors. Again, my deeper colors are in these little cups so that I use less. I just want these as bright accents. Altogether, the red, yellow, and blue, and the green, orange, and purple make up the rainbow colors. And I'm going to make more of the red. Okay, so what should I do first? I think I'm going to blend these colors, starting with the yellow. And everything's going to need a nice stir. I didn't realize that Kismet was such a yellow fragrance, so the white is a little off-white, it's okay. It's still going to brighten everything up. And the yellow. 
I'm going to whisk the little cups of color by hand so they don't speed up. Red. It's a little bit thick, but it's still liquidy enough to do what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you my dividers in a little bit. And I always forget to mention that that's from American Soap Company. I think I got that right. If not, I'll put that in the description box below. It's been really handy. Also means more stuff to clean up, but we won't talk about that. Let's mix these. Okay, so here's the plan, and I'm going to get ready to pour. Let me get my loaf mold out there. Okay, so let me start with the middle, and I'm going to add a little white to this. You can see. I'm going to just drop it from far up. stir that a little bit and then I'm looking at my plan too I wanted the purple in there as well so I'm going to drop pour that in give that a little bit of a stir these are compatible colors so they won't really turn to mud and get that in the middle section of that later and then I'm going to do the yellow and that's going to be with orange and white and I estimated this so we'll see how well I did with the amounts of soap. Notice that middle section is wider. Looks like it's going to be pretty close. And finally, the blue. It's going to need a little stir. Oh, good. This is going to work. And let's get the rest of the white in here. And save a wee bit for the top. The green's going to go in there as well. Stir that up a little. Pour that from the high. This is just a, a mental activity before I did this, just to get everything set in my head before I even started my lie to set, because I knew I didn't want to mess this up. And it's a little bit, it's a lot of moving parts. And these smaller edges are really hard to aim for. It will be fine. Let me try to get that up a little bit. Okay. So I did pretty well with that mount. So that'll give what's basically 
the primary colors a little bit of um, a boost as far as depth because each area has a lot of colors in it plus white. Most of all, I'm glad the fragrance isn't accelerating this particular soap. I'm trying to be careful because these plastic dividers are really slippery and I could very easily drop it right into the soap which I don't want to do. I sometimes forget about these. Let's get that out. Alright so let's see what am I going to do. I'm going to try to keep my scrapings related along. I've already had a couple little slips so it's not going to be perfect but the final soap should be okay. We're really curious about how this one's going to turn out. I think that the all the colors will be represented. I just wonder what this swirl will look like. I'm going to keep them distinct. I'm not going to swirl between the divided areas. It is what it's going to be. It's the idea of kismet. It's kind of predetermined. Okay, there's that. Let me get the yellow in there. I'm going to leave the white for the very top. I'm also happy that I planned that middle section amount pretty well. So if you don't have enough soap, you have that little ditch in the middle. If you have too much, it's going to be this mound, so having it about the same is good. Finally the red. I'm also looking for low spots the overall level of the soap to make sure I get enough soap so that when I pound it down I've got an even top. So I still have my scrapings of my colors in the cups so I'd like all the colors to show on top so luckily there's not too much white that will just cover everything over. There's some other colors in the white but I just don't worry about the little stuff. Green first. the blue side. It's going to be busy enough as it is so at least I'm going to keep the similar colors with each other. Green has blue in it already so it's going to be more compatible with the blue. And then the purple. And lastly the orange. Okay, and a nice swirl of some kind.
And with a name like Kismet Kaleidoscope, I am going to get some glitter on there. Wow, aren't you glad you don't have to help me with the cleanup right now? But that was fun. Some of those colors going in there. Top is pretty even. That's really good. And the three separate areas. No surprise there. Wow, that's just a lot of back and forth there. So you can see the orange with the yellow and the white and the pink or red with the purple and the white and the green and the blue with the white. So everything is showing up. Pretty cool. That is a lot of back and forth with those squiggles. So I tried to get all the colors of the rainbow there. There's yellow, orange, red, purple, green, and blue. Pretty thick bar. And tall bar. So far, every bar has all the colors. Thanks for watching, subscribing, and commenting. A lot, a lot of comments on the last, so I tried to answer everybody. Sometimes they hide. And check out my Instagram also. Interested in what I'm looking at. And we will see you for the next soap real soon. Okay. Bye, everybody.